What's good, my powerful people? Back at y'all another video. Now, before we hop into the topic, make sure you drop a sub down below, drop a like on the video, follow me on all my socials. Link's gonna be in the description. Look, bro. As 2022 is closing out, I'm gonna give you all the gems that you need to start 2023 with the right energy. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about four ways to improve your game with women. Four areas that you need to make sure that you have in order and it's gonna make, bro, it's gonna make dealing with women, it's gonna make attract the women, it's gonna make everything about these women a piece of cake. Now, the first thing you need to do is look in the mirror. Look in the mirror, bro. Because when it comes to you trying to get these women, trying to improve your game with these women, trying to increase attraction, all these different types of things, you have to look in the mirror and ask yourself, why would any woman on the planet want me? Just ask yourself that. Be real with yourself. Why would any woman on the planet want me? What do you have going for yourself? What makes you stand out from other dudes? What's going to make her more attracted to you, more aroused by you than any other dude that she dealt with in the past? So let's break down some key things that you need to make sure that you have in order so it just makes getting women so much more easier for you. Bro. Look good, smell good, feel good. Simple. You have to take care of your physical appearance. Health is wealth, bro. You must you must make sure that you're on par with your health. Eat healthy, work out, you know what I'm saying? Take control of your mindset too because internal and external, everything about you got to be on point. So get your mindset right because when your mindset right, your emotional state right, you're going to naturally have more confidence. You're going to naturally have more assertiveness about yourself. These things are very, very, very key. Women love confidence. Women love dominance. They love assertiveness. They don't want you to be timid. They don't want you to be scared to talk to her, scared to touch her, none of that type of stuff. So you need to make sure that you're on point. How can you, another way that you can increase your confidence, bro, you have to get in the gym. You have to start getting in shape. When you get in shape, when you start looking in the mirror, you feel more comfortable taking your shirt off. So naturally, bro, when you're dealing with these women, you're going to have that confidence. You're going to have that energy because you're going to see her looking at your arms or looking at your chest. You know what I'm saying? She's just going to be physically like just checking you out. That's going to make you feel good on the inside. When you got cologne on, you're going to feel good. When you know that you healthy, you know what I'm saying? You're taking, taking care of yourself inside and out. You naturally just going to feel good. You know what I'm saying? When you look good, you smell good, you feel good. It's as simple as that, bro. But on top of that, on top of your physical appearance, just on top of your mindset, on top of your well-being as a whole, you must live an exciting life as a man. Because what's going to intrigue her? What's going to make her like, hmm, who is this? Let me get to knowing about him. What's going to make those types of things play into her mind? That's what you got to ask yourself. So you must live an exciting life. You being the average man, you're going to struggle. Always. So what do you have to do? You have to get outside of your comfort zone. You got to start doing things differently. Start figuring out ways to make more money. Start figuring out ways to just improve your life as a whole. How can you get better? Look at your life right now. What areas can you improve in? Look at your life. How are you living right now? You see what I'm saying? Look at the things that you do every single day and look at where it has, where it has gotten you. Do you want to stay right here? Do you want to keep attracting the same things into your life? No. So if you want to get a better life and create a better life for yourself, and in return, you get some of these women, what you got to start doing? More, bro. Because understand this, the more things that you have in order, the more confident you're going to become when you get to dealing with these women. And the easier it's going to make it. You have to, you don't have to try hard when you know that you got your life in order, when you know that you're on point. You don't have to try hard because you're going to have that confidence. And just naturally, by you being on point, she's going to make it easy for you. So the first thing that you got to do is look in the mirror. Don't get to looking around and looking for who wants you and all this and this. Focus on yourself, self-improve, actually create a life for yourself. Be mysterious a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Have a little bit of intrigue and mystery about yourself and just have a naturally exciting life. When she look at you, she should be like, bro, she should just be amazed and just wowed by you because it's like everything about you, which is she's just checking off boxes, checking off boxes, checking off boxes. <sighs> Second thing you got to do is understand when y'all are actually making the connection, understand when the connection has been made. Most dudes, bro, they don't they don't understand this. They think that they have a connection with a girl who really just don't care about her, who just views them as a role player, who really just don't respect them at all. So, bro, you have to understand and be able to pick up when you know that you got her, basically. You got to know when it's like, you, you got her. You know what I'm saying? You got to know when you got her or you got to know when it's like, bro, I just got to keep moving on. So, the easiest way when y'all are in person, when y'all are interacting with each other, when y'all are talking, the easiest way but one of the most indirect ways to be able to tell that y'all are making the connection that things are going how you want it to go is just simply the body language. Not your body language, you know what I'm saying? But 
her body language. She might be leaning over to you. She may be facing you, you see what I'm saying? Touching you more, more touchy, you know what I'm saying? You, you know when you get to talking to women and stuff like that, you get to, you make a joke or something, and then she get to laughing all obnoxiously, but she gotta touch you while she laughing. Bro, that girl like you, you know what I'm saying? Pay attention to her body language because she's telling you everything you need to know based upon her body language, bro. Everything that she's not saying, she's saying with her body language. So pick up on these things and understand, and just take your mental notes while you're dealing with these women. Another way is this. She gets to steal in your lingo. Y'all have been talking for a little bit. Y'all have been communicating. Y'all been getting to know each other. But just as the conversation progresses, as y'all keep getting to know each other, as things just keep flowing, she start talking like you. She start listening to your music. She just starts doing things like you. She's just picking up on your mannerisms, your habits. This is how you know that you got her, bro. This is how you know that she's making the connection. Because think about it. Why would she be doing all that if she wasn't interested in you at all? But you, this is an obvious indicator. You have to look at the obvious things, bro, because she's not going to say this type of stuff. You just got to pick up on it in the back of your head and just, yep, let me check that out. So easy, bro. She's stealing your lingo. She get to talking like you, using your slang, using some of your, in, picking up on some of your inside jokes, listening to all the same songs as you, just doing things how you do it. Bro, you got her. Now, the third aspect is, bro, if you want the women, what type of women do you want? You got to know what qualities to look for in these women. Now, me, I can't tell you exactly what to look for. And if, the, if she don't check these boxes that you never need to deal with. I can't tell you those type of things. It's all personal preference. When you get to creating a life for yourself, when you get to self-improving, and you know what I'm saying, just in your own lane and doing, this, and doing what you need to do with your life, you're going to obviously know what you want in a woman and what you don't want in a woman. But let's just talk about the obvious thing that you want to look for within a woman. Number one, loyalty. Of course, bro. Loyalty and, and exclusivity. If she's not going to be loyal to you, she cannot be taken serious. Simple as that. Every man wants to deal with the woman who's going to be loyal to him. So if she's not going to be loyal to you, you should already know this. She ain't going to be the one for you, bro. She get the cheating. She get the plan. Male friends, best friends, still cool with her exes. Any of those things, red flag, red flag, red flag. She is not going to be exclusive with you. Simple. Next, peace. If she's bringing chaos into your life, she's always causing problems, always creating arguments out of thin air, she's not the one for you. You want peace, bro. You out here grinding, you out here creating a life for yourself, and at the same time, she on your shoulder, so you gotta create a life for her too. The last thing you want is some chaos. So if she ain't bringing peace into your life, you see what I'm saying? Why are you trying to deal with her? It's as simple as that, bro. You gotta, you have to be real with yourself. What do you want? And are you going to respect yourself enough to only stand and receive what you want? Simple. Next, submissiveness. Do not be out here trying to take these alpha women serious. Do not be over, trying to take these, you know what I'm saying, over the top, overly masculine women serious. Don't try to do that. And don't try to bring the femininity out of them. That has to, do, that has to be something they do within themselves, bro. Understand this. Naturally, when you are a masculine man, you are a dominant man. A woman's submissive side naturally has to show all that masculine BS is out the window. Naturally, you don't have to force anything. When the connection is there, when it's pure, when she actually with you, when she actually wants you, when she actually wants to grow with you and build with you, the submissiveness is naturally gonna come out. You're not gonna have to force anything. You see what I'm saying? So bro, this is a obvious indicator. Pay attention to her actions. Pay attention to how she talk, how she treats you, who she hang around, these types of things. Just pay attention to her character as a whole. If she's a naturally peaceful, submissive, you know what I'm saying, loyal type of woman, bro, she's obviously a candidate that you can take serious. But if she's hyper-masculine, you know what I'm saying, overly dominated, these types of things, what do you look like dealing with her? It just won't make any sense because you being a masculine counterpart, her being a masculine counterpart, what what is that? Like, what are we doing here? You know what I'm saying? Is you the masculine counterpart, her the feminine counterpart. Anything else is going to be chaos. But if, if she masculine and you masculine, it's never going to work. But if she, ma I mean, if you masculine and she feminine, bro, it's going to go exactly how you want it to go. Now, bro, she has to be honest with you. There's no, there needs to be no lie. She needs to be ambitious. She needs to have her own life going. But she needs to just be naturally peaceful and happy. Like, let me explain what I mean by this. Bro, it'd be the women that like, they just got a lot of baggage and trauma. They just got a lot of stuff going on within them. And it's, that's that energy that she carrying around, 
she not vibing as high as you. Basically, it's like this. When a woman is not vibing as high as you, it's not your job as a man to just always have to bring her up, to always have to save her, to always have to uplift her and always have to encourage her. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to be dealing with a woman who is just energetically and vibrationally not on your level because that dead weight, that negative energy, the baggage that she's carrying, it ain't going to do nothing but weigh you down. You see what I'm saying? The time and energy and effort that you got to take to try and pull her up to your level, it's going to distract you and just it's just going to make you waste more time than you need to be wasting, bro. So what I'm saying is this, bro. If you are a naturally positive person with an abundance mindset, you see what I'm saying? As you're supposed to be naturally masculine, naturally dominant, have an abundance mindset, you're just going after what you want. What sense would it make for you to be dealing with a woman who got a negative mindset, pessimistic, you see what I'm saying? Just negative about everything, always unhappy, always depressed, always stressed. What do you look like dealing with her? How can that possibly work? You see what I'm saying? So you got to also pay attention to the energy levels, the energy that she carries, because energy, bro, energy is contagious. If she got that negative energy, that pessimistic energy, that just, just, ugh, that's going to carry over to you. She's going to be giving all that energy off to you. If you pick up on that, bro, it's going to weigh you down. So you have to understand energy, character, morality, all these different types of things matter. Mindset, ambitions, goals. All those type of things matter. These are qualities that you need to look for because, bro, you don't have time to be building this woman up when you're trying to create a life for yourself. You got to build yourself up. You're not where you want to be in your life. So you can't build her up and yourself at the same time. It just don't work. And the last thing, bro, that's going to help you improve your game with women is just simply this. You got to know how to make a good impression, bro. Whether this be the first impression or whether this just be, you know what I'm saying, you making a lasting impression, whatever the case may be, whatever you want to call it. You just got to know how to make a good impression. So we can go back to point one. This is why by you looking in the mirror. If everything about you is on point, you know that you're going to make a good impression. But let's just talk about some key points, some key factors that's going to ensure that you make a good impression. So like I was saying earlier, bro, of course, it's the confidence. When you secure within yourself, it makes it so much more easy for you to flow, for you to be comfortable, for you to make her comfortable. Because you know who you are and you're sure of yourself. When you have positive high levels of self-assurance, bro, it's easy for you to just go out and do whatever you want. It's easy for you to go out and talk to her, vibe with her, make her comfortable. You see what I'm saying? Do what you need to do. Just make her more attractive to you. It's easy when you have the confidence level. You get the confidence level by getting results in your life. Simple as that. When you're pursuing things in your life, when you're accomplishing goals in your life, you're naturally going to get more confidence. When you get in the gym, you, you know what I'm saying, shifting your physique, you're increasing your physique, you're just taking control of every area of your life. Your confidence is naturally going to increase. So when you have that high level of confidence, it's much more easier for you to make a lasting impression on this woman. Now, another thing, bro, you have to dress well. You have to dress well. So if it's off the first impression, obviously y'all going on a date or something, it don't matter what a date is. You gotta dress well. Your physical appearance, everything about your physical appearance has to be on point. Get you some clothes that fit good. Get you some cologne that smell good. Make sure your hair is on point. Make sure you got a haircut. Make sure everything's fitting right. All these type of things. Make sure your shoes tied up, they clean, all these different types of things. Make sure your physical appearance is on point, bro. Make a lasting impression. Another thing very important that a lot of men struggle with is conversation skills. You have to be able to hold a conversation. Most dudes is like, they want to just text what you're doing all day. If you're the type of dude who texts what you're doing all day, I know that you can't hold a conversation with a woman in person. So the only way to work on your conversation skills is to have more conversations. It's as simple as that. Dudes always be like, how do, they, how do I get better talking to women? How do I get better texting? Bro, talk to more of them. Like, what else do you want me to say? You don't have too many options, bro. Like, you have to do what you got to do. You have to get outside of your comfort zone. If you want to get better with things, you have to get outside of your comfort zone. You have to put in work. You have to put in consistent, big and consistent grind. To understand this, bro. Same thing when it comes to women. So you have to be consistently grinding in your life. You have to make sure that your conversation skills is on point. Because when you can just tell a lot of stories, it creates a level of mystery about yourself. When you create a level of mystery about yourself, you're going to get, be able to get into her mind. When you get into her mind, she's always thinking about you, wondering what you're doing, wondering where you at, wondering how you got to where you got in your life. All these types of things. Is she always thinking about you? You always got it. You know that. Back to point number two. You know that the connection has been made. So, but you having good conversation skills is like, as soon as you open your mouth, you got bass in your voice, you know what I'm saying? You got eye contact, the non-physical aspects about yourself. All these things are on point. So it's much, and you have the confidence. So it's easy for you to start the conversation. It's easy for you to break the, break the noise. I mean, break the silence. You know what I'm saying? It's easy for you to break the touch barrier. It's easy for you to just flow and do what needs to be done. When you have 
good conversation skills when you can just carry the conversation when you asking questions you're pouring into her you're showing mutual interest level it's gonna make her comfortable the icing on the cake is making her comfortable bro if you can make her comfortable she's yours understand this you being too thirsty trying to get what you want it's not gonna make her comfortable you being timid scary and nervous it's not gonna make her comfortable it's going to turn her off it's going to like ugh. especially if you look the part you know what i'm saying it's terrible if you just on point your mask you look at masculine you know what i'm saying you in shape but it's like you can't even talk to it you scared you timid stop there will be no advancement if there is no comfort level amongst her understand this bro it's as simple as that everything gets easier when you have structure and order in your life it's easy for her to come into your life when you have a life an interesting life at that it's easy for you to talk to her make her comfortable break the ice do everything that you need to do make a lasting impression make a good connection when you have the confidence when you have the energy of abundance when you know that look i'm gonna win some i'm gonna lose some but at the end of the day regardless i'm gonna make sure i give her a good time i'm gonna make sure that she remember me even if it don't work out i'm gonna make sure that she remember me when you walk around with that type of energy bro you're gonna always be able to have good vibes and you're gonna always be able to flow you're gonna always just be naturally good women it's like you're gonna be a chick magnet bro because she see you bro she gonna see you if you grinding you doing what you need to do she gonna see you but it's all a matter of you see her looking at you or you just peep the vibe you see what i'm saying she just came across your radar what are you gonna do how you gonna handle the situation you see what i'm saying when she comes into your life what do you have to offer how is she gonna stay there if you attracted her that's cool but how you gonna keep her if you follow these steps bro you're gonna be able to attract her you're gonna be able to keep her because why you have yourself in order so her coming into your life that's nothing easy if you enjoyed this video make sure you drop a like down below comment some future suggestions subscribe i'm out